We're investigating the case of Tiffany Snow, a woman who claims that following a near-death experience, she manifested stigmata, or the wounds suffered by Christ during his crucifixion. I want to explore if there is an explanation for these wounds that doesn't rely on the supernatural. So I've come to Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York to talk with hematologist Dr. Louis Aladort, who has extensive experience with abnormal bleeding disorders. There is a, an entity called psychogenic purpura, and these are people who have had trauma to many of the areas that they actually then bleed many years later. But the lightning was interesting to me because it was trauma and she might have bled. So one of the things that um, struck me the first time I saw these photos is how similar the injuries look to me like cigarette burns. A totally different field has also described this kind of phenomenon. There are people who under hypnosis are told they are having a cigarette into their palm they get a burn. I was really fascinated by his description of the study in which people were hypnotized and all of a sudden a burn develops on their hand. That's amazing. All this has led the medical literature to try to better understand the relationship between the psyche and the blood vessels of the body. Anxiety can make people faint and their blood pressure drops. When somebody embarrasses you, you turn red. Why? You've changed the flow of blood through those vessels. The most compelling part of my interview with Dr. Aladort was his description of how the nervous system interacts with the vascular system. There could very well be a physiological mechanism that would induce this kind of bleeding in a person, especially in a person who has such strong convictions that it all of a sudden started to make sense to me how her own belief system could be involved in generating the uh, wounds of Christ. In this particular woman, whether or not her belief, her religious belief in some way mediated this is hard to know. Thank you.